Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love reading for the week of March 5th, 2022. <laughs> I was thinking five, I don't know what that happened, where that came from. I'm going to get you an angel answer card. This card will answer whatever question you have at the end of the reading. Let's see here. Put that there. Let's get you a romance angel card for Aquarius. Aquarius need to know for the week of March 5th. Woo. Okay. You got two cards that came out. <laughs> new love. A new person has stirred romantic feelings and heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss each other, your feelings with each other. So to me, one implies new, one implies someone you already know and getting to know them. So we're going to have to get into this and see if it's new or old or well, new old love. <laughs> like with everything with Venus being in retrograde, a lot of relationships ended or appeared to end in December and then came or might be coming back because now Venus is not, out of ret is not in retrograde anymore. Okay, let's see. What does, let's see, let's, let's talk about this uh, Heart to heart conversations for Aquarius. Queen of Swords. Aha, could be you, could be another air sign. This is uh, the Queen of Swords, can be the Widow. This is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You. And death. So, <laughs> what did I say? A revived relationship, based possibly? Um, when we're talking about getting to know one another, the Queen of Swords is not welcoming. As you can see, she holds a sword in one hand and the other hand is holding her chair. She is not warm and fuzzy looking at all. The catch is, is that that is not who she really is. Now, I'm not sure if it's just you or the other person. Death can be a Scorpio, but what this is, is a change. So this demeanor, because that's really what I'm focused on, may be changing here. And I would say if this is talking about heart to heart conversations, this would change things at the bottom of the deck. You have the 10 of pentacles. This is happy family, happy life. This is generational happiness. So this implies that this person could be someone who becomes a part of your family. Let's see. Let's clarify some more. Clarify. Some more for Aquarius. Three of Cups. <laughs> Celebrating. Doing things. So this is what I was, kind of what I was talking about when I was saying that she doesn't seem warm and fuzzy and, you know, she doesn't look like she, you know, look at that collar. I mean, what is the error? Elizabethan? What's the error? Where they were cold and non-approachable looking. And I said, clarify, and here's the Three of Cups. So this is about celebrating and the death card transition. So through getting to know one another, you're finding out that one or the other or both are not these staunch kind of unfriendly people because this Queen of Swords, she's she's not the person you mess with when you want to know the no. If you want someone to be nice about your answer, she's probably not the best person to ask because she may have a problem with, with, uh, with, with, I love when I stutter. <laughs> if you ask her a question, she's going to give you an honest answer. Does this look good? Uh, she's going to be hard pressed to give you the nice answer. She may just give you the correct, what she really sees. Okay, don't do reversals. We have the emperor, possibly an Aries, and the or could be someone who is very traditional, uh, possibly a grandfather, and the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands, fire sign energy, and I, I think it's interesting how it looks like he's attacking the Emperor. And I kind of feel in this situation, Aquarius, that what this could say is that there's um there's a passionate feeling here like maybe maybe you're the one who's kind of 
I have to tell you, all the Aquariuses I know, doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman, they do have this vibe. They can be party people. Where's that card? They, they can be the people who have a good time, but it's, it's so drastically different. And maybe it's not you, Aquarius. It maybe has to do with their other placements, but that's what I find. And here, I almost feel like this is, this is, um, there's some kind of passionate thing that's breaking down this staunchness like it's it's stopping like there's there's a fire there you know <laughs> nine of cups is the wish card ace of swords is a win this is success and i would say in this case it's a success in communication maybe you're wishing for a success in communication Knight of Pentacles, there could be earth sign qualities in either your chart or there, but it's not going to be, it may not be easy, you know? I mean, look at that horse. He looks like he's like, really? I got to go over this? Are you kidding me? But that guy is like, I am doing this. And it's got that, that mentality of, I am making a plan and I am following it through. Also something for every Aquarius I know. Very strange. So... Um, if this resonates with you, please let me know down below. But I feel like there's just, there's a change coming. <laughs> there's a change coming. It's called true love. That's what the Ace of Cups is. It's true love. Now. Kind of trying to find out here now. <clears throat> Judging by what I have seen here. Tell us about new love. Let's see about the new love. I still think that it may be the new <laughs> Gemini card. The lovers. Soulmate relationship. Could be. Doesn't have to be. But this, this new love, Gemini qualities this person has, or is a Gemini. And here you are, Aquarius. I couldn't have planned that if I tried. Here you are, showing up. And I always, this card, for some reason, I have such issues with this card. I confuse temperance and the star card. So I go by what I feel. And after going with new love and the heart to heart conversations and the lover's card, I want to show you something here. And the three of cups. So remember I said about them enjoying and relaxing? Look at this. So... To me, it's about, I want to say making nice, and that sounds like such a strange thing to say, but it's like when you enjoy, hmm, ooh, hmm, I'm going to be clarifying these cards because looking at it now, could you say that this is just you? It's a... Traditionally, it's it's considered a considered a good sign when you show up in your own reading, but to me, at first I got a weird feeling about this, like there's there's a third person here. I'm not saying they're cheating, I'm not saying you're cheating, but there's a third person. I it's the same thing. It's the same. There's three people, so. Let's clarify for why we have 3-3 three, three coming up here. Tell us about 3-3. Three, three. The lovers and the three of cups. Ten of pentacles. <laughs> this to me is generational. So this third, um, hmm, this third party person has something to do with the family because we have the ten of pentacles here and it shows mother, father, children, and a grandparent. So, Aquarius, is your love life being affected by parents? Grandparents, perhaps? Children? <laughs> You're still going to end up with the Ten of Cups. That's hysterical. Wow. The High Priestess. You don't know. You're not going to know what the result of this is. This, The high priestess is just talking about your gut. 
if you're with someone and your gut says it's got possibilities, then it's got possibilities. And if your gut says no, it doesn't, it doesn't. But you can't find the answer in a book. It's something you're just going to have to trust yourself with. And the Two of Cups is, talks about the future, looking towards the future. Take it as if it resonates. If it doesn't, look for your rising or your sun or your Venus sign, if you know them. If you don't, you can go to astro style or something like that. Yeah, strength could be done with a Leo. This isn't going to be easy, but I think that was apparent in the beginning that this person or you is kind of cool and there hasn't been a lot of fun. So I think that this is talking about having fun. But there is passion. <laughs> That's what that says. Ace of Wands is passion. There's fire here. There's chemistry. But there's problems in communication. And apparent. Problems in communication. Five of Wands. There you go. Yeah. Problems of communication. And possibly someone who is blocking their heart. The inability to give and take in a relationship. So... Take it how it resonates, Aquarius. But there is new love. It can be true love. And it's, it's possible. It's just going to take some work. You have to make the decision. Do you want to get to know this person? Seven of Cups. Could be also mean that you have a lot of options. If you don't have a lot of options, then this is focus. Pick one. And there we go. Pick one. Ace of Pentacles. So... Okay, so what is your question, Aquarius? Here's your answer. Are you ready? Romance. <laughs> cool. Romance. So let's get you a spell keeper. A spell keeper? No, sorry. Keeper of the Light Oracle card. For Aquarius. Okay, what'd you get? Hilarion, divine healing, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. So, regeneration could speak to the star card. But I want to say this really talks about your need to heal. And... There's something else going on. I don't know what it is. If this resonates, let me know down below, please, Aquarius. Really appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Take care and good luck. Have a great week. Bye.